Action. So this is a rat's tail grass it's from Africa, Sporobolus um, africanus. Um, it's a, it's a really serious weed in grassland areas. It's like plastic, so it's really hard to brush cut. Um, sprays often don't work on it. You can see this area's been sprayed for the kikuya, but it's actually killed the cranberry heat. So we're going to hand weed out this rat's tail grass out of here. And with a steak knife, I'm hoping this one isn't too blunt, because <laughs> I've worn it out on gravel with rat's tail grass. But essentially, you're just cutting around the base of it and um, leaving these finer roots in the ground but cutting below the growth point. And then particularly if it's got seed on it, like these seed are really tiny, they get knocked off when people walk past them and they get spread along all the paths. And this is one of the most, um, the most increasing weed that I've noticed during um, doing this sort of study. So um, it tends to get overlooked. So it's essentially you just, I'm trying to, weed around the cranberry heath here and I don't want to get the um, it so I'm finding the base it's like um, parting hair uh, and I'm trying to get right in and part the hair so I'm not cutting the cranberry heath and then cutting below the roots of that and then pulling it out and that's now dead it's a bit intensive but you do know that once you've got it you've got it and you've this cranberry heath will actually do better with it gone. Um, the rabbits are pretty chronic in this area and they're keeping it down, but they don't, rabbits don't eat rat's tail grass. So over time, this has been selected for by the rabbits. So it's a bit of a combination problem that goes together with the rabbits because they don't eat this, whereas they're eating everything else around here. And, um, and we don't want this to be the thing that takes over. It loves compaction and it loves these sort of conditions. So you can see how you can weed out pretty carefully around the cranberry heath and you don't disturb it. And, um, and I see this as a weed along a lot of paths in a lot of different reserves and it's been overlooked everywhere and transported along tracks. So. Good to get your eye in. They use it in golf courses too in the rough sometimes um, because it's so tough and plastic. It's probably used to having elephants and stuff on it.